I'm Dr. Aaron. What brings you in, Jennifer? My trainer, Rachel, actually recommended me to come here uh -huh. because I'm considering a knee surgery. Okay. I tore my meniscus two years ago okay. by running a half marathon and then mm -hmm. surfing, but mm -hmm. I've been stopping doing both of them for a year, but my okay. knee is not recovering. Can I, can I check it out? Sure. Let's pretend that your meniscus is this paper. Um, mm -hmm. and, and my hands, again, are your knee. And so it should sit right in between. In your case, it's popped out the side a little bit. So a little piece is just getting snagged in there. And, um, and it's irritating it over and over and over again. And, um, and that hurts. And so it creates a, a tremendous amount of pain and it's hard to get rid of. But a lot of times that the knee is just a victim of the ankle and the hip. Now, how is your ankle and hip in general? Is it... My ankle is fine most of the time, but my... Mm -hmm. Um, it definitely hurts after a run. Uh, okay. My hips are tight after sitting, yeah. so I'm sure that that has some relationship with my knee. First thing we're going to do is just make sure that the the knee isn't beat up too much by these things. People have leg length inequalities that come down with these injuries, so let's check that first. And so what we'll look at is we'll look at your medial malleolus, which are these two bumps you know, on your ankle here. Um, and just make sure that those are lined up. And what it looks like is that your right ankle, um, or your right medial malleolus is a lot higher, probably about a half inch or so. And then we look at the bottom of your shoes and you can kind of, you can see that as well. And a lot of times this actually comes from the hip. And so that's called position one when we do this in deer belt. And then position two, that you can see the same thing as you see how it's lower on the right side and then higher on the, on the left side. And so what this does is it takes out the tibia and it keeps the femurs involved. So that, it, a lot of times this comes from the hip and it's either you were born with this, this is um, primary or secondary where it's just uh, the hip is dropped. And in this case, you know, this hip is dropped and this hip has gone up. So this is called a posterior inferior PI or an AS. So we'll take a look at this and this because we want to give an area. We can get this meniscus back and we want to give a nice area for it to live in. And that's, that's uh, through the hip and through the ankle uh, relationship that happens there. We're going to adjust the talus, which is kind of the top part of the ankle bone here. This talus? Good. No, let me out. Let, chill. Chill, 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 chill. You don't like it. Yeah, there you go. That's chill. Yeah, let me have that. Yeah, there you go. Nope. Chill. Nope. <laughs> no, you don't like it when I lift it up, so what we'll do is lift you up and then we won't lift the ankle up. No. Yeah, my knee is tight when I got lift up and then... And that, that's what that hurts? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah. <clears throat> good, good job, nice. Beautiful, beautiful, um, good. So your, yeah, your ankle is really out there. Is that, that's your talus and then let's, uh, your metatarsal heads, we'll check all those. You see how that's a little sore there? And then maybe, eh, no, a little bit here. Well, take the dips and pips or distal interphalanges and proximal. Good, just like any mini miny mo. I call this the wet salmon. My, Grandpa and I used to go fishing a lot and um, we'd have to use rags when the salmon were jumping over the boat and so when I get to people's toes I feel like I have to use rags so I can grip these things. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, um, let's do the other one for good measure. Good, good there. Talus, good, good. Calcaneus, we'll check the navicular, not too bad. Pop, pop that up, good. Cuboid, a little bit there. Let's go at the hip uh, next, and then we'll recheck the, the feet and see if that changed the labeling stuff. What we want to do is kind of loosen up the hip. See how like, see how that, when I push on that, it doesn't glide very well, and I push on that, it glides pretty good. Like you feel that kind of bogginess that happens there. Again, what I want this to happen is I want when one hip goes up, when you walk, I want one to go down. It's like this, and then like this, like this, and then like this. And so what's happening is, is this one's stuck, and this, so basically instead of doing this, this one's stuck, and this one's moving, and so it pulls like this. And so when this goes down, it pulls like that, and this goes up, it pulls like that. And so instead of going through that frontal plane, gliding through that SI joint, which is how you're designed to walk. And so that's what, you know, where chiropractic comes in, and it's really handy when um, you have these stuck joints and, 
and you just need them to glide again. And then the muscles are, are basically the pulley system to the bone. And so it, it's kind of that relationship of the two. So the first thing we need to do, Jennifer, is balance out the hips like we talked about earlier. Um, and we're gonna do some muscle work, especially in your glute medius, is that it? Because the glute medius is what holds the contralateral hip up. And here at VSWI, we have you know, these modified jigsaws. It's something we've been using for a long time. We make ourselves, and I don't think anybody else has them. Um, and they're just a Makita, so it's very intense muscle work. And so just hold on and do your best. They're kind of loud and um, we'll, we'll basically get these muscles out very, very quickly, much quicker than you know, we could otherwise. <clears throat> you see how that, that's tight in there? Does that hurt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Good job. Nice. Yeah, these are these are oh pretty heavy duty. But because you're young and healthy, and it's your peripheral nervous system, not your central nervous system. So I never use this close to your spine. But you know what we want is a result. It'll take you know an hour to get this out. We can do it in a very short amount of time with with one of these. So you see how that's softer? It doesn't hurt quite as much there. Good. A little bit tight still here. So we'll just do a little manual muscle work. And your hips are your rotators. And so that's why I'm going to use your leg down here to rotate your femur and pull the muscle the other way. Because that it's one of the major reasons why you would have a short leg on the right is that this muscle is tight. And again, pulling this hip up. It's giving me this symptom down here, this spiny down here, but really it's typically coming from here. Um, and, One more. Yeah, now we're pushing. Oh, this is the hard work. Good, good job. So if you would, Jennifer, bring this hip down and this hip up and face me on your side. Thank you. Bring it right here, here. Perfect. Good job. Good again. Good job. Good job. Good. Probably not as much cracks on this side because we'll do your low back just because it'll feel weird if we don't, but it's not as stuck, so it's not as necessary. Really the one we want to do, which we just did, great job. So nothing there. Now, that's expected because it has a nice glide to it already. Perfect. Awesome. So we're looking at, again, it's just medial malleolus. It looks almost perfect where it felt like you know where the right was a bit high before we started this um, that's awesome it is awesome it's uh, that some of that comes from the hip adjustment that, that we did a great job on and some of that comes from all that you know psoas work that we did now sometimes it's helpful to check in between just to know if it's more muscle or bone but really it's a combination of both um, and so it should be the same here it should be nice and even like we had it before Perfect. Good. Um, that's what we're looking for. Yeah. So that'll make it so your your knee doesn't get so bullied by the hip and hip and ankle. Good. So you see how like that hurts there. And, that and like, does. Yeah, I'm rocking those back and forth, and probably a little bit here, but not too bad. Like, see how I can kind of play ping pong there with your spine. Mm -hmm. um, and then here, like, I can't push that. I can push it this way, but I can't push it that way. Do you feel what I'm talking about? I do. Cool. For and sure. So that's all I'm looking for. Those are subluxations stations, and all wow, I'm looking for that, hurt. yeah, that hurts there, right? Yeah. And this one moves, and where this one hurts. And so we want to get this one caught up with this one so we can play ping pong with these two as well. And this is where all the rotation comes from. Not all, 70% of your rotation comes from these two bones, the atlas axis. Now, deep breath. Awesome. Good. Wow, that was a long crack. That was perfect because you did a great job of just chilling. So let's recheck it. Yeah, I'm just going to chill. Good. Like you see how when I push it, see how yeah. it doesn't hurt? That's amazing. Um, it's just a cool, it's a cool thing. And, and so what we have to do is isolate the one vertebra that is stuck. And so it's not asking the vertebras above and below to work overtime and then do the, do its job. That is so cool. 
desktop. So what we're going to do is what's called a Gonstead thumb move and be very specific. Um, and so I'm going to use my thumb right where that one um, feel is stuck and come in and push it instead of rotating you a lot. Good deep breath. Good job. Good job. Whoa. <laughs> awesome. Great job. Cool. Let's do that shoulder. Now, so we're going to try to bring this shoulder back. I want you to grab the back of your neck just on this side. Now, perfect. Great job. Good. Deep breath. Good job. Whoa. Beautiful. Great job. Lovely. Wow. We couldn't do any better. Awesome. I have so Good. many bones that can crack. Yeah, lots of bones that can crack. <laughs> But, it's, but you're allowing me to do it because you're relaxed and I can kind of feel what's moving and what's not moving. And, and it's really a, a team effort. And I mean, you're doing a great job. Good job. Good Whoa. job. Beautiful. Lovely. Deep breath. You got a strong back. Good job. Whoa. Again, nice. Beautiful. Keep going. I'm real stuck right here. Good. Good, beautiful. And last one, we kind of roll this kind of tension spot that happens when you sit at your desk all day long. Lovely, awesome. Now, why don't you sit up, Jennifer, and wiggle around, and make sure nothing feels stuck or kind of where the, everything's where it should be. And what we're trying to do is just achieve movement. You know, it's, um, um, but the shoulders are bringing to different spots, and the spine, we're just trying to get to, to move again. Yeah. That is so cool. Awesome. Good job. Oh, we can do better than that. There we go. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we're getting lots of cracks out of you. Um, Thank you, Dr. Eric. You're welcome. Um, so you're a great patient. Thank you for chilling and doing this with us. Thank you so much.